Hi, this is Mike from 107 Designs, and I'd like to share with you this plugin for WordPress that I've become really fond of lately. It uses a utility for uh, PHP called Markdown, and uh, you can see it's installed here in my plugins uh, list already. Um, what it does really is simply allow you to have an easy to use text editor as an alternative to WordPress's editor. And uh, the reason I like this so much is because a lot of times you might have people who are contributing to your WordPress site or a WordPress site like a client and you need for them to have a simple way to add content or edit things. Uh, they're not as familiar with um, HTML tags and that sort of thing and so when they see it sort of mixed in with the content it looks confusing, it's hard to figure out. Uh, it's also hard to figure out if things are broken and you know for them to um, troubleshoot uh, things. So the way you install it is you can just go and add a new plugin through right through your uh, your uh, admin area. We're going to do a search for Markdown, and you'll see it's like the first one on the list. Markdown for WordPress and BBPress. You click install, and you get this dialog box. If you didn't already have it installed, you'd see this little reddish orange uh, button up here that says install. Um, and then you go back to your plugins section and you activate it just like any other plugin. <clears throat> uh, you can see mine's already activated. And one thing I do like about WordPress or uh, Markdown quite a bit, and I've got a post that's ready to roll here, is that one thing I like about it is that Markdown doesn't interfere with um, any other type of editing that you might do on a, on a page or a post. So, for example, if you if you get into a page that's got HTML tags in it already, Markdown's not going to um, you know to to mess with any of that. It will uh, it will handle all of um, what's already there on its own. It won't interfere with uh, actual HTML tags. So let's take a look. Uh, the first thing to notice is that it automatically figures out if you meant to start a new paragraph based on the number of carriage returns. And there's only a couple of symbols to use or to teach others to use to um, to be able to use Markdown. One of them is the hashtag, um, the hash mark. You can see that for heading one through six, it's just a function of putting a hash mark, the number of times that you want the, that uh, heading to display. So. Uh, heading one is one, heading two is two of these hash marks, and so forth. All right. Now, in most cases, you have to check with your theme, uh, but in most cases, heading one and heading two are already spoken for uh, because they're your site name, your page title, that sort of thing. Um, but just double check, and a lot of kind of times you'll be using a heading three to start inside your content area. All right. Um, so again, really simple. All you have to do is put a hash mark or three for heading three in front of a line and it automatically becomes a uh, third level heading. So you can see very easily how to do paragraphs and we'll just jump down here and take a look at lists. The first one is uh, the first one is unordered list. Alright. For an unordered list all we have to do is put in an asterisk and a space and then the list item. That's all there is to it. Um, you don't have to be concerned about indenting lines or carriage returns or anything like that. It'll uh, pick it up in the style guide. And when it comes to ordered lists, um, I strongly recommend that you use this particular syntax where you just use the numeral one with a period next to each item. Markdown will automatically mark this up as correct HTML and so they'll all be in order. But Let's say that you need to, this last item, it needs to be second. So we're going to cut it, we're going to paste it in here second, and that way we didn't have to renumber, you know, reorder anything, the numbers, we don't have to retype one through five. They're all, um, you know, correct. Um, a couple of last things we need to figure out how to emphasize text and then make links. In order to emphasize something, all you have to do is put an asterisk before and after. A phrase. Um, that's the traditional italics, um, but it will display however you have emphasis 
in your uh, in your style sheet. All right. Um, to make a bold or strong, you just use two asterisks wrapped around a um, a passage. Okay. Now you can highlight a bit of text and click the italic button in WordPress and it will put the HTML tags in there for you just like normal. But I caution you not to teach um, others to do this, especially people who are not familiar with HTML tags because as clear as it might be to you or me, a lot of people still look at that and they see it as foreign object, you know, interfering in their uh, page and it looks confusing. Um, so if you can get away with especially teaching other people how to use these asterisks, um, for emphasis and for strong uh, bold, it'll be a little more clear to them reading their content. Okay, now on to links. <clears throat> links are pretty easy too. Essentially, all you need to do is put um, a bracket around, put brackets around the phrase that you want to be clickable. All right, so you want you know the phrase you want to be clickable, and then right after the brackets in parentheses, you put the URL. And then in quotes, you can put, this is optional, you can put a title. Um, a title, for example, that will be a tooltip that, you know, when you hover over the link, there's a little tooltip that displays. Uh, that's the title. Um, and here's an example here. For example, this is a paragraph. You can see that you want this section to be clickable. Then here's the URL and a title, okay? And we're going to save these changes. We're going to jump over to the actual page in WordPress. Okay, and you can see this is before, I'm not gonna refresh the page until we take a look. You can see that here are the hash marks, here are the uh, paragraphs, and the list items, and you know, all that stuff, and the links aren't appeared yet. Um, and this page was rendered before I activated the plugin. So I'm just gonna refresh the page and you'll see that right when the page refreshes, we get all the content marked up correctly. We have heading one, heading two, three, four, five, and six, and so forth. And then we get paragraphs. We have a uh, unordered list. We have ordered list with numerals. And then we have emphasis. We have italics here. We have strong passage here. And then we can get into the uh, links, for example. Um, our first example was the phrase, you know, the phrase you want to be clickable. Notice when I hover over this, I get this tooltip that shows what that title was, it said. All right, and here's our second one. Okay. So again, um, Markdown is pretty easy to use. It's really easy to teach. And it disables the um, WordPress visual editor so that there's just not that much um, stuff to compete visually with uh, you know, with um, with this, so that when you teach someone how to use the editor, you can focus on the the easy bits and you focus on the content and ignore um, a lot of the HTML. All right, so hope that helps out someone and have a good day.